welcome and welcome back. You're watching Kiara's Lux Life, where I bring you all things fun, beauty, luxury, lifestyle, and today is no different. Today, we are talking about the Saint Laurent medium envelope. She is in the color marine with gold hardware, and I love her. <laughs> I love her. So, we're going to talk about some pros, some cons, what you need to know, and maybe you'll decide if you want to keep her on the wish list, or maybe you want to look at something else. So, Again, I have had this particular handbag in my collection coming up on two years, and I said, what better time to do a review on her? Now, I'm going to start and I'm going to preface it with this. I am a collector. I do have handbags in my collection. This is one of the bags in my collection. She is not an everyday handbag. Okay, so I, I want to be very transparent. <laughs> she is not an everyday handbag. So we're going to touch on wear and tear. We're going to talk about it. But again, the perspective of if this were to be an everyday handbag, for someone using it their handbag is going to look something very different than mine okay so i get it out the way now here just anatomy of the bag she is a front flat bag here we do have the like tri pattern we have straight we have the chev absolutely love the chev the gorgeous celeron logo here and we have the quilting so that is that. Now, if I want to compare this, again, texture-wise to something, again, that's very, very common, that would be the Chanel Caviar. It is a textured or like, like dead sturdy material. It is not that of like a lambskin or a calfskin. Definitely, I would say wear and tear is great and is very, very hard wearing. Here, she does not have feet. That is what the bottom looks like there. Coming onto the side, she does have gussets. So we have a gusset on each side, and in short, basically a gusset is an area where it just kind of smooths in, if you will. The only reason I mention the gussets is because when you're looking at capacity or the size of the handbag that you want to move forward to get, the gussets do take up a significant amount of space on the side of the bag, or rather in the bag, if you will. Now, one example I'll use because that has very, very deep gussets is the Chanel Le Boy bag. If that's something you had in your collection, I did used to own one in gold on gold and that had very, very deep gussets. And the reason I bring it up is because when you get into the bag, it takes up a lot of space. <laughs> it takes up a lot of space. You'll see here the gussets on the side. Now, at the top, I'll show you guys here. There is Saint Laurent on the handles. That is what that looks like there. Again, because it's black on black and leather, maybe a little difficult to see, but they are on each side. This is the gold hardware. Now, this is the medium size with both of the medium size and the large size. You do get the handles where you have that option. If you decide to go for the envelope bag in the small size, it's one chain, it's not two. So though they look similar, you have here the medium, and then you have the large, you'll have the two, the small, one chain. So definitely if you're not into a crossbody type situation, decide to upgrade to get the medium or pass on the bag. Now there is a hack if you do have the if you do decide to get the envelope in the small there is a hack where you can basically like double it if you will like here obviously if you just want to wear it crossbody you would just pull up one side and then you can put it on and wear it crossbody non issue you want to wear the shoulder pull it up throw it on you wear it all on the shoulder non issue but there is a hack with the envelope small where you can loop it underneath. And then you would have that come through. Now, what I will say with the loop underneath situation is you end up with something that kind of wraps around and looks like this. Now, this, here's the particular, here's the deal. Here's the deal. If you decide that you're going to get the small envelope back and you're going to do the hack like this, you do run the risk of wear and tear and the glazing of the handbag. Say it again. <laughs> If you decide you're going to get the small, this is the medium. This is the medium, so I don't have to deal with this. But if you decide you're going to get the small and you want to do like a shoulder situation or you want to make the chain shorter because you can't wrap the chain, you run the risk of damaging the handbag and the glazing, especially if you make it like a reoccurring thing. Once in a while, maybe it won't be a big issue, but a, but 
continually, you need to get you a different handbag because you're gonna mess it up. I have done a couple um, repairs for Saint Laurent, not for this piece, um, but for other pieces of my collection. They do have a two year warranty. Again, that just comes with the bag. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. If something does happen, don't sit on it and wait. Take it in sooner than later so you can get it repaired or get it looked at so you can be able to hopefully get it under the warranty and under the coverage aside from paying for the repair. So that's my two cents on that. Now here, all right, so here, back of the bag, same thing. It has that like diamond pattern, if you will, in the leather. I absolutely love it. Definitely gives me more of a like luxe vibe. We do have a pocket here on the back of this one here. You see some of the chef here and the continued straight pattern here. So that is the anatomy of the handbag. We're going to open her up. She has a very, very strong magnet. I've never had an issue with the magnet as far as the V point. If you don't do anything else <laughs> and you decide to get the handbag again, this falls more under a wear and tear. You have to pull it up and the flaps from the side. I have seen several pieces, both being in boutique and also pieces just from like, you know, out and about. Like I'll go out shopping or I'll go out somewhere and I'll see the bag and the whole like tip of the V has come off. Like the, the coating or like the leather has come off or it's like worn down. And that is because folks came in, they went in like this to open the bag and that whole like section kind of wore off. Now I have not, I've not had that issue also, but at the same time coming into it, this is not my only selling around piece um, in my collection. So I already came into it knowing that, yep, yep, you gotta open it from the side, whatever side you decide to go with gotta open it from the side <laughs> and you just heard how hard how sturdy that magnet is right hello um you gotta open it from the side um and don't mess around with that v if you decide you want to keep that intact now i did decide to keep the plastic on the hardware there so nothing has happened to it i know some say you you know you run the risk of it oxidizing i i don't see anything on it so i'm going to leave it <laughs> I don't see anything on it, so I'm going to leave it, but if you decide to take it off, that's what that's about. Here, that is just what the top has there. Now, here on the top, like, magnet, there is, like, a little hook there, if you will, that helps keep this in place. I don't have too much problem with it, like, getting off kilter. I've, not, I've never had that off kilter kind of situation with this handbag. However, sometimes it can be difficult to close and kind of find um, the the clasp or the closure. So something to be mindful of. Here, we're going to open her up. She does have a pocket on the back here. Again, it says it's a rock. And then on the inside, again, it's tono tono. So it's all marine. Now, pros. She's absolutely gorgeous. She's very, very understated. It's a very sleek elevated design con it's a very obvious sleek elevated design <laughs> as in, if you do decide to travel go somewhere it is obviously that this is a luxury handbag this is a luxury piece bro there's a front there's a back if you are traveling and you say you know what this particular area is not the safest or not the best area in town no biggie get your bag turn your bag around and wear it perhaps this way. In general sense of things, no one will know, right? Because you're covering up the logo. Like, if you know, you know, but you get the draft. Con, price point. <laughs> the price point. Now, again, like I said, I've had this in my collection for a couple years. She has increased in price. Between the medium size, or again, there is a small size and there's a large size. The price difference between each level, I'm going to say, was in and around like two, $250. So it's not, it's a difference, but it's not that much of a difference for anyone to say, you know what, I'm going to I need the small handbag. I'm not going to, I'm not going to do the $200 to, you know, difference to be able to get the medium or I want the medium or you try it on the medium, but you really, really want the large. I'm not going to do the 200 to get the large. So whatever decides you decide to go with, be true and honest with yourself on what you're going to use it for and the dynamic on what your day to day is going to be like. Like I mentioned before, this is not an everyday handbag for me. 
but had it have been an everyday handbag for me i maybe would have wanted to go with a larger size again for reference i am 5'2 i think this particular size on my body frame and silhouette works the best it makes the most sense i do think the large is very large <laughs> it's very very large um if you do watch power force more specifically that's tommy egan's um spinoff i believe it's number four um there the character i'm trying to think of her name claudia the character claudia flynn she actually has the the envelope bag in black gold hardware and the large size she has actually had it from season one and then again season two is now long going she is wearing that bag again and more specifically she is i want to say she is a model i think she's like five seven five eight and with her five seven you know and wearing three four inch heels it works it doesn't look out of place on her frame but i think it works for her because she's really really tall for the rest of us <laughs> for the rest of us <laughs> it looks out of place now with being the medium and the large like i mentioned you have the option to wear it on the shoulder and to wear a crossbody how it looks on the hip so definitely something you may want to stop in and try it out to see I would say more specifically for this size, I definitely go for crossbody a lot. That's just my jam. It is what it is. But more specifically with crossbody on the hip here, looks fine. It makes sense. However, when you get into the larger sizes, especially the larger envelope bag, it's, it looks just like this. It's just bigger. It's far bigger. When you wear it on the shoulder, I think it's fine. But for a lot of women, I think when they go to try to wear it crossbody, it looks very janky and I, I don't even know i'm gonna try to find a friendlier word to like input in the <laughs> in that it fill in the blank if you will and i can't i can't it looks very janky that large size when when i do see women try to wear a cross body it just doesn't work it that bag is a shoulder bag so Definitely let me know your thoughts on this cutie. Is she on your wish list? Again, there are a variety of colors. I actually was between the marine because it's a very, very dark blue and the rouge. There's a rouge. I ended up getting something else in the color rouge because I loved it so much. Um, but I was like, do I want to get it in rouge? Do I want to? It's a definitely a definitely a difficult choice. What I would say, if you can get a fun color, get something you know that will work with your wardrobe. Black, of course, black with gold, or even the so black. The black on black is a very very um, a popular choice. My essay did kind of warn me about the suede. They do have it in suede. I have seen some of those suede, especially in the like green color ways. They have a few of those, and I think they're very very nice. Uh, but the suede from what my essay has told me about doing repairs and stuff like that I was getting repair on something else and she was like yeah we see a lot of repair for suede <laughs> and i was like really really and and i guess just kind of like how it wears if it gets wet and just having to deal with the actual material of it it is not as carefree as the leather whereas something gets you know on here and or if like the weather is you know something different i've not had any issues with like Oh, well, you know, you know, it's, it's light rain outside or um, getting caught out in some kind of weather kind of situation and being like worried or concerned about this bag. So definitely that is something if you're picking and are choosing between here, the envelope or you know, the small or medium Lulu. Definitely let me know your thoughts on that if you're between the two. I do have one of those in my collection as well. If that's something you would like to see a comparison on, leave a comment down below. As always, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Comment down below and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.